I think when it comes to body image, one of the main things to talk about is the brainwashing. And I think the brainwashing is key because we do live in this society that, you know, lies to us and, 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 you know, says, uh, sort of unconsciously, you know, um, subliminally that, you know, if you're not this look, then you're not good enough. But I think that it's the unpacking of that brainwashing and asking ourselves, well, who's telling us that? And where, who's taught me that? And what have I learned from that person? And, you know, it's been passed down. So we have to become adults and say, actually, I don't, I'm not sure that really works for me just because society says I need to be this thing and I'm not that thing. Um, what am I going to do? Spend my life unhappy about that or just embrace who I am? So there's a lot of unpacking with the brainwashing and there's a lot of unpacking with diet mentality, which is, you know, diets don't work. We know that. And it's a huge, you know, problem. Um, and so learning how to unpack and, and run away from any form of diet mentality is really important. And learning to sort of find acceptance around your body is the first space, you know, accepting it is step one. And then in terms of like confidence, like the next steps after acceptance, how do we like then get confident about ourselves and our bodies and our worth? Well, first of all, if you are uh, project yourself, you know, 10 years from now and you look at a picture of yourself today, you're going to be like, oh my God, I was hot, right? Yeah. <laughs> so let's start there, right? Uh-huh. Because we're all getting older, we're all growing up. And I think that's really important. I think second of all, like, and I say this to people all the time, um, no one else cares about your ass. Like nobody, <laughs> nobody cares about that, right? Mm-hmm. And we are also like self-obsessed with, oh my God, does this look right at this thing? But no one is actually looking. Like it's just not that important for anyone else. And that's also like a, oh, drop your shoulders moment. Like, whoa, do you mean I'm walking down the street and not everyone is staring at my ass? Like, whoa, is that possible? But it's true. So I think that's also important to sort of step away from us thinking that we're the most important thing when we walk down the street, you know, because we're not. And people are so, you know, focused on their own selves, they're not focused on us. And the other thing to say is that, again, really life is way too short for this kind of thinking. You know, like none of us know how long we've got. And I'm sure on all of our deathbeds, none of us are going to go, oh my God, I'm so glad I spent all that time worrying about my weight. Like, I just don't think anyone's going to say that. They're going to be like, I wish I'd cared less. So, You've only got one life, right? None of us, we're all going the same way. None of us get out alive, right? And none of us know how long we've got. So we might as well enjoy our lives and enjoy our body and be gracious for that. Because the truth is, and I say this as well, like your body is the least interesting part about you. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I also wouldn't want to be around people that only thought my body was the most interesting part about me. Like that would not be good. So Exactly. Right. Like your friends and the people that are around you, like they couldn't care less. They, they love you because of your mind, because of your, you know, attitude, because of your compassion or your kindness or whatever it is. It's not, oh, because she's a size this, like no one cares. Yeah. Oh my God. So right. And then you just brought to me this idea of how much time and energy we waste on thinking about our weights, especially women. <laughs> if you thought of all the time and energy you spent worrying about your body or your weight, if you put that time and energy to something else, something more positive, productive. Maybe you like learn a new language or learn, practice cooking, something new, like literally anything else would be better use of your time and energy and your focus. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. And there are books that will explain exactly that to you. You know, um, there's some great books out there, especially by like Janine Roth and you know, uh, Jane Hirschman, I can't remember the other lady called When Women Stop Hating Their Bodies. And a lot of it is very much about, you know, sort of the old school patriarchal society, like teaching women that if you just focus on your calories, you know, we'll do the big stuff, we'll be in the government, and we'll be in science, and you just focus on, you know, that. And when you start to learn about all of that, that's also enough to make you angry to be like, you know, I'm not doing this anymore. Like, forget <laughs> yeah, it. Ask exactly. me a donut. You know, like, no. <laughs> so, yeah, there's all of that. Yeah. You know, there's so much that, um, you know, I will teach my clients because it's important work. <laughs> 